What is up, you guys? My name is Danny. My name is Irma. My name is Alan. And this is Let's Talk Pendejada. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another motherfucking episode. Hola, amigas. ¿Cómo andan? Hacemos todo. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Or Happy like, holidays. Or like a lot of people end up saying um uh, in the English language. Merry Chrysler. Merry Chrysler. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. If you guys haven't noticed, I have my boyfriend. My best friend. Alan. Alan. Nice. I was like, what's my line? Ah. Oh. You're like, what do I do? Like, well, they didn't tell me this. Uh, <laughs> I'm excited to be back, you guys. By the way, this is the Christmas special. Como pueden ver. I love what you guys have done with the plates. Thank Gracias. you. Can we agree? I literally was telling Danny and Irma that I feel like this is like their best set yet. I feel like even with like the change of like furniture, mm -hmm. I feel like it even looks like you guys are filming in a big ass studio. Yeah, yeah. It's a little crack in my ass. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A crack in the wall, like where you guys film, yeah. but like the way you guys set it up, it looks really big. Thank I like you. It. Gracias. I feel like, like we like st are starting to understand like what space. we want. I, yeah, I, I, no, I, it really is that. And also, Alan, you were the one that suggested about the lights of like the two green ones on top and the one red one. So it makes a difference you know. for dimension. I yeah, feel like it, it gives it like a little thingy because on camera, like they have their monitor over here. Se mira, mm -hmm. está chido, you guys. Like yeah. it looks good in person, but I feel like it looks even better. In video. Uh, no, 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 it looks like better it, in person. Uh, I think it just looks uh, ugly. Uh, uh, like, I fucking hate it. I was just kidding. Deceiving bitches. <laughs> no, it looks great. I love it. Oh, but thanks. how is Christmas going for you guys? Uh, que han hecho? What's the 411? What are you guys up to? What are the plans, actually? What are your guys' plans for Christmas? So, though you guys are watching this Christmas Day, we are actually filming this, what, like a week before Christmas? A week Christmas? in advance. Yeah. Um, and honestly, our plans are very much like every year, huh? Like, we're having the Christmas party at our house. We're hosting Va Venir La Familia de Dani, Va Venir Mi Familia, Los Niños, Mis Tias, Mis Tios. And it's gonna be a good time, you know? It's a little stressful when it comes down to, like, getting, like, everything together for especially, like, a big event like Christmas. But I'm excited. Ustedes saben que yo amo la Navidad, you guys. So, I'm excited to see everyone's reaction to that. I feel like for Christmas, for sure, it's finally the exciting time where you could finally just be with like the family and the people that you love and you know it's all happiness and there's no drama i, I mean unless somebody makes drama. Uh, not but, real. <laughs> but you know i always expect it to be happy and it has been the last couple of years there hasn't been really yeah. not much drama or anything has, around no. christmas time mm -hmm. so i feel like that's where it's like i'm super excited for christmas because everyone's gonna be together everyone's thinking about others it's just it's just a warm feeling uh, you're like I like what about this you, Irma? What are your plans this year? For I feel like sure. Irma's plan, plans always fluctuate. Every they always year. fluctuate depending on how soon my mom tells me the plans. This time she was actually on time and told me probably like two weeks before. So congrats to you, mom. Thank I you just very much. watching the videos where you're calling her uh, out. Uh, she's just like, oh my god, now I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, she's like, that's why I'm, I didn't get you a Christmas present, bitch. Uh, 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 but for real though, we, my mom told me that my family from Colorado are coming over, so we're gonna be spending it at uh, my house for sure. We did end up doing secret santa and no joke literally the secret santa like person that i chose last year the same person this year so i mean it's gonna be easy mm -hmm. but at the same time I'm like i wanted someone different i want variety i want to see who uh -huh. else i can shop for who you would know? you have wished you have gotten like from all your family uh -huh. who's someone that you would have been like oh my god i wish i could have gotten them probably my dad or my little brother are you gonna end up getting presents for your family so that's the thing. I'm trying to see how my budget's gonna work out once I get like, paid. I'm trying to see if they're gonna get me a present or not. <laughs> not even that, but I would love to. I want to get every single one of them a gift and stuff. But since I have my car registration to pay, I know this yeah. check that's coming up. It's just gonna go. It's mainly gonna go to that. So of course, after that, I have to take care of the got bill. Arrested. Yeah, I only just got. I have my warrant out. So I mean, shit. Wait, did probation. You really? uh, did no. you really have a warrant? Oh <laughs> my bitch! Get the fuck out of my house. I was fucking giving her a hideout place. I'm like, really? Uh, 
Speaking about gifts, go ahead and comment down below right now if you guys got everything you wanted on your wish list. Mm -hmm. Because I'm low-key, like, hopefully I get everything on my wish list. Ah. <laughs> There's been a long list of what I've been wanting. The Ooh. one thing that I know I'm gonna get is a new TV. You know what's crazy? I feel like today is, like, the first day we've gotten into shopping. And when it came down to, like, picking our gifts, because I feel like this year I feel like I didn't really want shit. But Danny, I will get a suit. But Danny wanted to get his nah, TV. Nah, but I've been wanting my TV for a fat ass minute. It's not that. I just feel like Alan and I doesn't really understand, like, if we have, like, the ability to buy a bigger TV, let's just do it. Like, <laughs> Like, look, I've already had... This TV has been here for almost five years already. But it so, works. No, dude, it doesn't work, dude. It's so slow, dude. You don't even know my struggle. I can't even go on Netflix without it glitching sometimes. It doesn't even have memory. Not only that, it, the res resolution, dude, it feels like I'm in 2005, girl. Like, it is so bad. And the speakers, girl, it sounds this like girl, somebody's talking to, like, muffled. They're like, oh. far, dude. Like, at this point, you're just dude. making it up. The TV works perfectly. I don't know. Nice. a lie that I the TV... Is that work. Look, Danny's a very techie guy, so he knows his, like, I know it's going to look so good. I want my 4K, whatever, whatever, which I get. Totally respectful, you know, whatever. But I understand on your end, like, if to a me, TV look, works, a TV works. But that means Danny, work. Danny is the one that's, like, very playing his video games. He knows when it's, like, yeah, you know. Yeah, and to me, okay, so, so like, that's I what I'm saying. Both ends. Like, originally, when Danny was talking about, like, oh, my God, I want a TV. We should get a TV for the house. We should get a TV for the house. This was, like, a little bit before Christmas because I feel like Danny's been on the like I want a new TV for a while now mm -hmm. and I feel like every single time he brings it up I'd be like no pues cómprate la tuya no voy a comprar eso why because to me we don't need a new TV and second of all I feel like I never even get to aprovechar the TV in the sala because either Danny's always playing video games or when we watch movies you decide a movie okay look wait 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 okay go ahead déjame terminar ah, that's funny <laughs> So when it came down to like, babe, what do you want for Christmas? He kept talking about his TV and I was like, well, ¿qué tal que te regale eso para tu Navidad? And he said yes and I was like, pues así, rápido. Yo no lo necesitabas, pero lo quería hacer un regalo, entonces es tu regalo. You guys, look, here's in my defense. When we got the TV, we barely moved in here. We went to Best Buy and he's like, just get whatever, dude. What the fuck? We watch movies all the time. <laughs> we have guests here all the time. <laughs> I play my video games a lot. All the time. And not only that, not only that, I even used it into a, an advantage. Not only was I thinking about myself, I thought about him. I don't play the PlayStation. He plays PlayStation. So I got myself a Sony TV that is capable of reading his PS5 very nicely. No, and he's no, going to no, thank no, me no. once the new wrestling game comes out in March let's go he's no, gonna be catch your motherfucking days cause that is when he is gonna tell me thank you today I feel like our TV was perfectly fine but obviously like I feel like the new one that we got like well that I got for Danny I feel like it's gonna definitely be better because it's bigger and it's yeah. gonna take over like the whole and space and better resolution I honestly don't get that shit because like I feel like the but he'll understand dude good. he'll understand dude because sometimes bitch sometimes they be looking like fucking Roblox characters no. I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. No, Sometimes, you know, like hey, we, even, we even have agreed on saying like the pixelations on the fucking. Yeah, because of the Wi Fi. Our Wi Fi no, sometimes sucks. Dude, it's also a part of the resolution part of the because it's not getting it like the pixelated stuff. I feel like, honestly, you, know? you guys, they're exaggerating. They're I'm gonna scary. put a clip. <laughs> I feel like they're ganging up on me. Point is, Danny is getting his TV, and that's it. But like, I'm not sirve. trying to gain up on you. Like, no, no, because like, you know, it works because when we're having this couple no, you were like yeah saying. you don't need I'm it i'm saying that yes it works but the aspect of like okay if you want better quality and you want your resolution to be good and you want everything well of course you're gonna have to i feel like they, TV. i feel like you just don't know until you see it so no, once no. you see it you'll understand like oh okay danny that's why and that's you why i was down to you know? get it for you like as a christmas gift because it was like something you wanted not necessarily like something we needed for the house yeah. and that's why i said i got you guys but danny was in our tele actually yesterday no eh porque Okay, we're filming this on Monday and it gets here on Wednesday. Oh yeah, so I don't know how it's going. Oh, ah. 
Let's see how I'm gonna goes. leave a comment down below because by the time like this video goes up, we're gonna have the TV estrenarla. I'm gonna leave a comment. Look for the comment down below to see if I have the same way of thinking or if I've changed my mind after the new TV. Besides getting your guys' gift, I personally still don't know, and you actually still need to send me your Christmas gift. I mean, I have an idea of what I'm gonna get you, but I'd rather get you something that I know you're gonna want. Yeah, I'll send you my list when I can. And yeah, exactly. I'm like, I just haven't. I don't. Sometimes I feel like during Christmas time, you don't know what you want. What did you guys want or ask for this year? I mean, you had your TV, but what else? You've been wanting more stuff, no? No, actually, I feel like I just really wanted a new TV, and that's it. Like everyone that has been asking me, like your sister was like, "What do you want?" I was like, "I just want hats." And then, like, for you, like, I don't even know what I want. I don't even know if I want, like, a sound bar or I'm starting something, like, soon. So, like, I want something from there. Like, okay. it's just, it's just a, a lot, lot you know? Yeah, yeah, I have a lot of options. Well, hopefully you send that soon. But, of course, guys, we will not forget Wine of the Week. <laughs> Now, you guys, yes. uh, while I get the alcohol, Alan is going to explain to you all why he is not drinking mm -hmm. today. Oh, yeah, you guys, I am not drinking because actually right now as we speak, I feel like I need to go to the restroom, but I feel like I can hold it in a little bit. I feel like I have like a bladder issue right now. I feel like there's been days, especially I've noticed it more when I I'm, I drink. Um, ayer fuimos a cenar you, Danny, and Danny was like, oh, have a drink with me, have a drink. And at first I was like, no, I kind of don't want to drink because like I kind of already have been feeling like this because every time I drink but me convenci and I was like fuck it I'll drink you know like we haven't yeah, had yesterday a date night we got it, really was drunk, fun, it was fun like I had a lot of fun but like I feel like I'm feeling it today I feel like we were, we were shopping earlier and out of nowhere I started feeling como un pain in my bladder a little pain it's not like as crazy as that one time yeah it's keep drinking you water need, yeah keep drinking yeah. water that so sounds that's like why, a UTI yeah ah. that's why he's drinking the water and I was even making like earlier before knowing about your bladder situation I was already like okay let's bring some Malibu for you with some pineapple I know you've been preparing huh? I even prepared them and everything but tomorrow we have a friend's mess so I did end up just putting the drinks in the fridge so we could just oh we can just drink it then we'll yeah. just drink it then but it's okay me and Danny we are gonna end up drinking some wine so this wine again I forgot well we forgot if we got it from the white elephant or from the comments because last week's wine we didn't even but know you either bought it. this you one bought I bought it do you remember if you bought this I don't one? remember. I think that's, that's from why. the white elephant, no? Oh, so then last week's is the one that we bought. Anyways, point is, this is a San Antonio Winery Cardinal American Sweet Red. It's 11.5% percent alcohol a little low a little average but we'll see how sweet nah, dude we just decided we just is. found out how we can get drunk off of a bottle it has to how? be 15 percent or higher mm -hmm. if it's not 15 percent or higher we There's won't no get point. drunk i honestly really don't isn't. find the hype still of alcohol of uh, alcohol. not the alcohol i still don't find the hype of like what is that shit called no, wine no wine honestly it's you kind of have to adapt to it because you can't yeah. really just straight off like go into like, like oh, I I it's because like for example you know how like the other day we were talking about how you are like a salts person and i'm like a sweets yeah. person mm -hmm. so like with this the good thing is that i like both i'm a sweet person i'm a mm -hmm. bitter person and i'm a salts person yeah so like this has like a lot of all of that so it's like perfect combination no it really is so let's cheers. Try this. cheers cheers oh it smells pretty intense yeah it does taste really mm. good it smells really good mm. Amigas, ahorita que andamos platicando de lo que Dani quería para Navidad, ya ni les platiqué lo que yo quería. Wait, did you have any, like, things that you wanted for Christmas or no? Honestly, like, ugh, girl, the it's always the impossible for my Christmas. Like, ah. Wishes, just any wish in She's general. She's like a like, new car. I, no, bitch, I just wish, like, someone... <laughs> A man, ah, bitch, no, but I just like sueños, of course, soon, hopefully, sugar daddy come through for manifesting <laughs> that shit, pays off my car, fucking, I don't know, just I feel like that, or even like having my bills like already all cut up. I feel like that'd be the best Christmas, or you know, what's so crazy, I'm like, let's be more realistic, but, but realistically. Uh, but what were you gonna say? You know, what's so crazy is that you say you want a sugar daddy and all this, like, but I don't get stuff. one, nah, but you're not even like, I'll go, like, not I'll I'm go, not, but like, I'm an introvert, yeah. You know, like, 
women introvert. Yeah, you're not even looking. I'm like, how do you expect to find treasure if you're not even digging a hole? And like, literally, literally, dude, I have to go to these like fancy ass hotels by the bars and see if I fucking find myself one. But imagine, with this I think that would be cool. Yeah, dude, because <laughs> Irma, yeah, because not only that, you're young. Our juventud is like literally like going away, like so quick. Uh, not as fucking encouraging Irma <laughs> escorting. No, not like a sugar daddy, but even a man or no, a girl. Yeah, whatever. no, it really is. Like, I it shouldn't be a bad thing. No shame to anybody that does it, right? Exactly, exactly. As long as you can get uh, your bag, then you're set. But realistically, what I would like for Christmas, honestly, whenever this question comes up, my mind goes blank because I never realistically know. I guess car accessories, I guess, to make my car look cute or like. I feel I don't like know. I'm the same way as Irma, you guys, because I get this question asked all the time. Like, Alan, ¿qué quieres para Navidad? Or Alan, nunca sabemos qué regalarte. And I feel like every single time anyone does ask me, like, what do you want for Christmas? Like, Irma, like, I go blank. Why? Because there's not really anything I want. Because whenever I do want something, I Look usually go us. get it. Yeah, you know I mean? exactly. So I feel like especially for Christmas, it's like, I'm not going to tell my family, like, oh, yeah, I want a fucking G-Wagon. Or I they, want this. Yeah. Or I want that. You know what I yeah. mean? Because ni yo puedo agarrármelos. So I feel like this year, it was funny because I was literally telling Danny, huh? Like, so si ustedes no saben en nuestro comedor, we have, like, our comedor since we've been here. I think we've had it for, like, six years already, right? Very y nuestras sillas están más rotas you guys que mis cuentas bancarias like our seats if you sit down there's a really high possibility que te caes way yeah, like you literally like they're wobbly I, I don't even think we have all six chairs anymore no so I literally told Daniel I was like you know what this year como que me quiero regalar um, not a new comedor but like the new set of chairs yeah and funny enough you know when my mom started asking me que quería para navidad like I was like I don't really want anything les platiqué de eso and my sister and my mom were like yo te compro una silla so I fit on those then Irma says yeah. she'll buy me a chair I'm so down. I saw this uh -huh. I don't know if you're gonna buy me a chair anymore no no, I mean, I have two, but you have a present for I me. have other presents. But ya tengo tres sillas compradas, you guys, entre Irma, mi mamá y Gretel. So ahora yo nomás tengo que comprar tres, entonces me va a salir más barato. Entonces yo ando bien contento porque al fin del día iba a gastar dinero. So now that you guys and everyone was kind of down to like pitching for a chair, yeah. siento como que estoy happy. Ah, está I feel bien. like shit like that's what makes me happy. Like, I don't really care for presents, to be honest. It, well, I mean, it makes sense. I feel like I don't really care about presents either, but at the same time, like, I kind of do. Ah. I, I feel like I've grown up out of presence like i'm kind of just excited for like just just Thanks to be together. together with everyone but i am gonna tell y'all i am an expensive galley and, yeah, you yeah. Are. Like, and one thing that i am gonna say is like i don't expect now i don't expect to get like the most expensive gift i could just buy myself <laughs> or like no it is <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what expensive gift have you guys bought me in the last two years um which one your TV, your um, what else? I your birthday this year when I gave birthday? you for your nose bonus. Those are expensive gifts. I think those are average. Ah, <laughs> I'm like thousands of dollars. He wants a whole house. It's getting. No, 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 I swear I'm expensive. <laughs> no, it's just um, but I don't expect it. Like I don't yeah. expect uh -huh. it. But like if 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 I go up to Irma and be like, hey, buy me a two hundred fifty dollars sound bar, and she'll be like, well, Christmas is coming up. Okay. Yeah, that's when we she agree. She can say no. Uh -huh. <laughs> you yeah. can say no. Will I get upset? Maybe. <laughs> I know what you mean though. Like. I feel like I'm more of like a gifter though. Like I get more excited to see people open up the gifts I get them yeah. rather than like me opening up someone's gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get all excited mean? when I open my gifts. I'm like, yeah, what do like, I mean, I do get excited. Don't get me wrong. Like if you give me a gift, I'm like, yay, que me agarraste. Yeah. But like, siento como que me pongo más como like, yay, like I want to see your reaction when okay. I give someone to that something. That makes sense. When I give something to someone. I uh, ask someone to something. Uh, uh, well, enough of this little like what we want for Christmas talk let's go on and continue on with the good stuff and catch, catch up. up christmas is coming along i haven't done my christmas shopping christmas so I'm is here babes well ah. it's here you guys christmas know what it already means. is happening right? you know, as of right now it's currently happening christmas shopping was fucking crazy personally i'm a last minute shopper i usually am and also because i literally get paid towards the end of the month so you know she she's on a little budget and stuff but Christmas shopping for you guys was 
hectic though. When I saw you guys bringing in all that stuff in the in the fucking house, I was like. I feel like we're really like 50% done though. Nah, but comment down below if you are a last minute shopper. Because, girl, I can't be the only one. I hate yeah. it though. Like, I get it's so stressful. stressed out. It's stressful. And I feel like this year we were only like last minute shoppers or last minute like Christmas decor set uppers because we were forced to be. Um, previous years, we usually start decorating like in the beginning of December. We barely put up our Christmas tree like last week. And as of today, we're barely going to decorate the whole house tomorrow, Tuesday, like December 19th. Yeah. And today was actually like our first day of Christmas shopping. I feel like we did good, babe. No, I dude, honestly you guys did. Really good. Nos levantamos super temprano, you guys, y andábamos en la tienda todo el perro día, pero llegamos apenas como hace una hora, and I feel like we got like at least all the gifts done. Almost Oh, majority. I feel like majority of mainly for your like nieces and nephews. Yeah, I feel like you mainly got and them. And that's why I had decided to be like, you know what? I do need a cup of fucking wine today because yeah. girl, the shopping was exhausting. Mind you, people are idiots yeah. during the holiday shopping. Now, don't even get me wrong. I'm an idiot because I almost crashed three times. Yeah, today. he did. Wait, how? Like because because it was my fault. Well, two of them the were your fault. You One of them was like traffic. One of them was because I didn't understand which like um, lane. lane was mine. So like you were in the middle of lane. No, 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 no. Like there was two lanes, and I was on a stoplight. And then when I was about to drive, the lane that I was supposed to go to. I didn't know, like, it just looked weird, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it just looked weird. So I ended up honking at the person because she, it looked like she almost hit me. So, like, I was like, oh, fuck, no, that was my fucking fault. Like, I knew it. And then she, like, flipped me off. And I just started laughing because I was like, girl, I already know it's, it's my fault. It's not that like, serious. Sorry. It's not that serious, babe. Go back to Santa Claus. Uh, the second one was because this was toward the end. Um, ya teníamos el carro rete lleno, you guys. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, to yeah, the yeah. point that you oh, couldn't see, like, from the back window, shit. the back oh, side windows, like, at all. Like, it was raining. No, no, yeah, no, but that time it was, it was, it was just dark. It was raining in the morning. Was oh, this was the end of noche. Oh, okay. And when we're trying to pull out, Danny pulled out apenas, right? Because he couldn't really see. But with, like, the way all the gifts were in the car, our blind walking. spots were literally, like, blinded so when he tried to merge he didn't see that on his blind spot like un carro ya venía not a carro a motorcycle oh era una moto oh, era una moto you're right you're right lo bueno que nos pitó. no he was he was far but like from the speed that it looked like he was going quicker he was going quicker yeah. than what he should have but like he stopped but like i knew that i wasn't gonna hit him yeah. like you know like those times where you're like you don't understand just, yeah yeah if you guys are like drivers like uh, uh, you guys are i drivers, like, don't like, understand uh, uh, you don't I drive. like how the combo shifted that way since I don't really drive. He's like, ah. you understand. <laughs> Literally. Enough about that talk. Enough about that arguing. Ah, ah. That's always been I'm just kidding. Ah. But um, what was your favorite memory of Christmas? The adultos y when you were um a little kid. Okay. A little kid, okay. I remember for sure this one time I was at my tia's house and it was literally everybody here not just my side of the family their side of the family too with their like primos and everyone and we decided to do christmas no secret santa we decided to do secret santa we did that and i remember when it struck 12 o'clock because normally it's the time that we open them i just remember everybody just going individually and i was just anticipating seeing who got me and i was like oh my god who is it who is it i don't recall the gift i don't recall that but I do recall that night where I literally overate like crazy as a fucking kid. I was grubbing so fucking hard. And this was the moment or the time, actually, the memory that I have that I overate on barbecue ribs. And oh, yeah. that's when I ended up throwing up the barbecue ribs. And after that, Wait, I never want to begin. favorite Christmas movie? Well, I mean, in a sense, yes, because it kind of just brings <laughs> back like those memories of like, damn, like it was a huge party, a huge like family, everybody there. Nobody was really drinking like that because nobody was at that age, obviously. Yeah, yeah, we were yeah. fucking all kids and shit. So it was just very like calmaditos. But I just always remember the part of having really good food. That's for sure what I remember. I feel like the food is always part. like the best part of yeah, Christmas. Yeah, it low really key. is, and honestly. So yeah, pretty much. So I feel like that's definitely a big memory for me as a kid, personally. The thing is also, I can't really give too much detail because I don't remember much as my childhood, to be honest. I really don't remember a lot. So it's hard for me to kind of captivate those like 
huge plots or like huge or given detail of these stories so i do apologize but now that i'm older and now that i could remember most of my stories or most of my memories i will say that my favorite memory at christmas was probably two years ago when you had it here in christmas uh, here at your house mm. to which be one? honest which one i think there's a lot uh, there's a lot of christmas memories oh, in this house fuck. me saying hey, i have better one memories. was it you remember when we were like when me and you went outside drunk and like you even was went on was was that new year's yeah, that was where you went into the trash can yeah, almost i went into the trash where can. you were drunk you remember i went into i don't remember going no, into you a didn't trash go, can. but you were like faking going into the trash can you remember you yeah, remember you remember mm -hmm. i remember just saying she remembers all her adult memories but and i'm no, like this remember happened a year anything. ago Damn, uh, what the fuck? i fucking suck you guys like honestly i was even trying to think of this earlier but literally like it's all blank it's literally all fucking blank so i mean what i could remember for christmas the good memories is coming to your house for sure your guys' house for christmas and always having a good time with your family that's Yay. all i'm gonna say and that's what i could mainly remember to be honest every single time i come here at your guys house always fun memories and always a good time that's why i always come after like i finish doing stuff with my family because i know you end the night you know, good i, feel, I the night. Don't throw, like a good party huh we babe? do yeah. i feel like we're like party people and I just like the whole ambiente with everybody like it's just there i feel like my favorite christmas memory this was like before like the familias got into platos before like oh this tío did that this tía did that or me cae gorda aquí me cae gorda acá like i remember before you guys cuando éramos muy chiquitos yo me acuerdo que toda la familia éramos super unidos and there's two christmas memories that i remember one was me my sister and my prima dayan we would always get together every christmas and we would try to do like a choreography like que oh. un baile queremos hacíamos como un tipo baile That's and cool. I remember this one year me my sister and uh, my prima hicimos la de la gasolina dame más gasolina oh, que me encanta la gasolina I don't remember like the dance anymore but that was one of them and then another one was me acuerdo que mi tío um, he had put on like this monkey suit but it was like those monkey suits that have like their ass out like those like funny Whoa. monkey suits Wait, have you seen tío? him do you know my tío I'll mine. tell you later uh, and I remember he was just being like a goofball with like everybody like that was like a good memory and then I don't know after that I feel like I have like I have other little memories but like those are like my top top ones like every time I think about Christmas mm -hmm. I always think about like those childhood memories where like the whole family was around that's why I feel like now as an adult don't i take christmas so seriously because i feel like it's one of those holidays where like it'll really impact you or really will carry on with you yeah. like if you really didn't have a lot of great memories like you're gonna grow up and like thinking christmas is like whatever is like you don't give a fuck yeah. but if you do have good memories like you're gonna love christmas and that's for why sure. i feel like as an adult i try to give like the best kind of like memories for the kids yes. and for like the family members you, they're literally like, like sure gonna have so, you know what i mean and i feel like for christmas as an adult i love every year i think every year is the best you know as long as we're with the family as long as we're all happy comiendo and just being happy i feel like i like christmas and as, as i feel like my favorite yeah. memory i'm gonna start off from when i was really young so normally every single year when we were younger me and my family friends which were pretty much just like my mom's friends like daughters and like we grew up with them so every year in december we would always try to rehearse a song and dance for our whole ass family members now the one thing that i do remember was dancing michael jackson oh i remember when God. michael jackson was such a big thing that we would try to learn the thriller dance now that's the only reason i know how to dance the thriller dance was because of that night now my mom and my um other mom which is my my mom's best friend they have a picture of us actually like mid choreography dancing and that would be like our performance of the day and then later on at night we would open up our presents now the reason why i love this memory was because i have been wanting this is where my addiction comes to like nintendo and stuff Aww. like that my mom would actually buy me all of my nintendos no matter which one it was like she would try her best to buy it for me but this one was my favorite because i really wanted the new wii at the time Ooh. but not just 
any fucking Wii, bitch. You think I got a normal Wii? No. no. A Mario Edition Wii. I, think I got a Wii Wii. Yeah. <laughs> and that Mario Edition Wii was so iconic because it came with the Super Mario Bros game at the time. It's Super Mario Bros Deluxe, I think it was called, for the Wii. Oh, Super Mario Wii U. Something like that. Algo así. Algo así. But that was my favorite memory. Now, the only thing that killed the memory was las pinches celosas, like my other cousins that would always eye me the fuck down when I would get that, like, I understand. Ah, I like, I understand. I understand you're jealous. Ah. But, like, it just I, that's the one thing I've always hated was, like, sometimes... I don't know what it is. Why is it that like kids do that? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like as now as an adult, I would teach my kids to be like, girl, like you should not be jealous of other but people. You know be grateful is? of what you have. You know what's funny though? Like that you mentioned that. I feel like that exact reason was like one of the big reasons why I feel like me and my siblings growing up, we never opened our Christmas presents with like our cousins or anything because I feel like as a niño, you start thinking like, like you said, like, oh, why are they getting this or why are they getting that? And like, obviously, like sometimes like the people that are buying these presents are your parents. Yeah. Y pues nosotros, and they're not thinking about about others yeah you know? yeah no and like, nosotros growing up like we were always like that pobrecita family mm -hmm. like we always didn't have like hella money so like our presents weren't i mean they were good presents don't right. get me wrong because like i remember getting like all the presents i wanted but they weren't always like the most expensive as presents like my mm -hmm. cousins because i used to i have these primos that they would always get like new nintendos and like mm -hmm. new like systems and i feel like it's kind of like with noah like do you remember that one year when he got so mad yeah like, that's what i was gonna say about literally, the bad memory. That's it's like that's a funny as that's not bad i feel like it's part of growing up it's like a part no, of because like to me like that's that's like a core memory to me that kind of just like i just wish you? i didn't have that authority at the time oh. because i feel like with noah i shouldn't be looked as a parent to noah i should be looked as a like a brother yeah. to noah so that day like it triggered me so much because i did the most for what yeah like i wasn't even what daddy's talking about you guys this was a couple years back i remember we had gotten noah a tablet and this was like an Apple tablet, bitch. Like, we're not talking about no Samsung. We're not yeah. talking about those ones that freeze up. No, the this was like an the kids, Apple. No, yeah. What do they call it? Like a Joy tab. An iPad? Oh, yeah. An iPad, bitch. That's what it was. Literally. It wasn't a tablet. It was an iPad. And I think we had gotten Gabriel that year a Switch. A switch. Mm -hmm. And I'm guessing Noah wanted like the switch. the switch and i remember that year he got so mad that he yelled and he's like i don't want this shit like i don't oh, know why I no. got okay that. so like, the way that so I, angry so the way that it happened was that we were opening up the presents at midnight and then he opens it and he's like i didn't want this i wanted a nintendo switch and he threw the ipad and i got super upset so Instead of letting my mom deal with it, I dealt with it. And like that also also wasn't okay for me to do because I was like trying my hardest to show him what it means to appreciate, yeah. you know, Christmas. Yeah. Because it's not about what you receive. It's about being around, being around family, being able to appreciate the life that you live, you know. It's, it's a, and if you get a gift, appreciate what you got. Because even when Noah was younger, he we would pretend to give him like a banana and he would be excited yeah. for it you know so like it was just like a triggering thing to be like oh my god what the fuck like why did he do this he never does this i feel like it is very much like you said it, it is a little like disappointing mm -hmm. especially because but i understand you know what i mean like at the end of the day he yeah. was a chamaquillo like okay no, like, did, like, like, chudo. like he was very mm -hmm. very true at the time and i feel like at the time since gabriel was older and we were giving gabriel like the older things like i but feel it like was he would always give yeah. regardless yeah. of what he it was. was getting good you gifts guys would like give them like a yeah because we've always been like those type of like deals that were all or like brothers or like brother-in-law that we've always given like equally gives yeah. but that year me acuerdo que ese, ese año like danny was a little bit hurt because i remember danny was like short on money and like we had he had like giving up not giving up but like you know like costo comprarle el tablet el ipad a noah so to hear noah be like i don't want this shit like obviamente like you get butt hurt like it broke my heart it really did huh because i remember danny even was like pinche niño malagrado so i was gonna ah. keep it and i was low-key kind of excited that i was gonna we literally were hot because we even your yeah. mom was like no te vamos a dar nada noah because that's so rude and, and he, then my and then my mom left random. yeah he left crying and then i I ended up telling my mom that I didn't want to give it to him. But like I said, like, that's did just the one thing that I remember. Yeah, we did. Yeah, 
yeah, of course. Ah, uh, yeah. uh, you're like, yeah, of course. No, because he ended up apologizing. I wonder anything. if he remembers uh, that though, because sometimes Noah be like doing shit and like he be forgetting lo que no le conviene. Yeah. I wonder if we were to ask him if he would. Yeah, still I should ask that him because it was a big ass scene, bitch. Like we're not talking about like he did this. No, in it was secret. a tantrum. No, like this was like everyone was gathered around the Christmas tree yeah, as me and Danny were like calling out everyone's name to get their present. We call up Noah. He opens it up. It's his iPad. Yes, el berrinche ahí enfrente de todos. I feel like everybody was like, what the I'm sure fuck? your mom was probably embarrassed. Huh? Yeah. Like, yeah. Come on. Like, she probably thought like, I know, aquí me van a juzgar. I know. Uh, you guys, um, just in case, if you guys are wondering if Peaches is wearing a pamper, she, she is. is. Um, but Miss Girl is menstruating. Uh, yes, si so. la miran con su pinche diaper, déjame en paz. Alone. She's getting princess she treatment She wants right now. love, but... Enough of the, you know, bad memories, I guess. We're going to go on with your guys' favorite gifts. What was okay. your guys' favorite gifts growing up? Like, the one that just caught your, like, memory real good. I feel like every year was, like, my favorite gift because, like, for Christmas, usually I would get, like, the new wrestling game. Mm -hmm. Which, let me just say, I used to always play it before Christmas. Like, as soon as I would know, my mom would buy it because usually she would buy it, like, Black Friday season. I would, like, hacerme el que me ponía malo and I wouldn't go to school and I would stay home and unwrap the gift carefully. Oh, And, like, no, play you it. Not. Does your mom know? I, I told her, yeah, when you tell her? That adulto, yeah, maybe like a couple years back. Maybe oh, like when I was 18. like 18. She was like, no wonder. Because uh, I remember every single time when it was like Christmas Day, I would grab my little game and I would run to the kitchen and act so excited to open it up. But that was because I would do that because like I wouldn't want them to see like that it was lifted. Yeah. Or because, because there was times oh. on the like... Pues, para abrir el juego tenía que quitarle el clear plastic. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, when yeah. I would repackage it, ya no tenía yeah. clear plastic. <laughs> so, I would make it seem like I went crazy on the, on, on, like, on the, trying the to wrapping. get it out of the wrapping. Que le saqué el wrapping then. So, whenever I would play my game, I would already be, like, halfway through the game. <gasps> But I loved it. I loved getting my wrestling games. Lo malo que ya ahora ya no sale el juego until like March. So I feel like it works out. Before I used to get them for Christmas, now I buy my wrestling game for like my birthday season because Aww. it's been the past three years on the Los Sacan in Marzo. So I feel like that has That's to be like one of my favorite like presents, I guess. Okay, so my motherfucking favorite gift, and it's a funny one too. I just told Ermey about this not too long ago, <laughs> was one Christmas morning. I don't know why, but my mom liked to celebrate Christmas the American way which is opening up at the the morning of on the 25th and that morning I remember getting up bright and early honey <laughs> <laughs> and I was expecting a brand new phone from Virgin Mobile ma'am I knew the phone I loved that I wanted Virgin, Mobile. Virgin Mobile was a good ass company it was. <laughs> anyways but <laughs> I was expecting a new phone anyways we were getting ready to like open her gifts my mom's passing it now and then we open them and then i noticed from the corner of my eye that my sister opened up my gift she's like oh my god i got a new phone i like i love it thank you mom thank you mom and i'm all opening it it's all barbie and i was like what the fuck does she know i'm gay wait did you mention <laughs> that she like, on to me uh, did, did she forgot to write the names uh, yeah that? she she forgot to write the names mm -hmm. i but guess moms always know yeah, yeah. I did, but like supposedly she knew i'm like miss mm. girl and then she literally looks i don't know if she was with another guy at this point or <laughs> oh, she was with my stepdad but um they she like looked at somebody else and then she goes she's like oh wait actually that's for daddy <laughs> I was so yeah, excited. Ashley yeah, she got hella mad, but I don't give a fuck. She was too young. Uh, I don't give a fuck. I got my phone. I uh, got my phone. I was literally about to like probably push her and take the phone away from her and be like, girl, that's my gift. Like, you think that is a good present. I feel like phones are always, especially like when you're a teen and you're like, yeah. ay, I want to talk with the guy, with the girl. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I like wanted to good. start seeing how I could send my news. Yeah. So I needed Virgin Mobile because it had unlimited data. <laughs> No, Virgin Mobile, I remember it first started out before they had the plans. You remember when it was like the minutos? Mm. If you know, you know. I remember Virgin Mobile was like one of those very first like prepaid lines. So I remember when I first had my Virgin Mobile, it was very prepaid. It was very much like you go buy a card, recharge it, and they yeah. only give you a certain amount of minutes, certain amount of data. Yeah, as the years started going by, I remember Virgin Mobile started coming out with like plans. Oh, like yeah. $30 like $30 plans. Yeah. And that's 30 those gigabytes. Were, those yeah. are good. Uh, oh, 
old bitch. I don't even remember. You know what? I had my first phone since I was barely Actually, in junior like year of high school, bitch. Remember? Wait, what that was, was your first phone? Yeah, my cricket phone, bitch. The fucking plastic phone with the green cover in the back. Yeah, if y'all know how cheap that shit was, y'all fucking know. That, yeah, I got my first phone ever since then. Because I mean, I like, didn't know. my parents were so not going to get... So how would you get... talk to your friends? She's like, I, I wouldn't. It would be Should like, uh, yeah, yeah, how it would, would you Facebook. communicate with your friends to go, like, stalk One Direction? No, so at that time... I had the stalk One oh, Direction. Oh, you guys had, like, a family computer, huh? Pretty much. It would be Facebook or even with my friends that I would oh, hang on. Yeah or whatever they lived in that same neighborhood like literally i walked down by the park that's by my house oh, yeah, and those yeah. two d, stories d, d. d oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. e yeah literally they were so close so after school we would all be like hey so we're gonna hang out today okay what time we're whose house what are we gonna do and then that's how we that was pretty plans. convenient because now that i'm yeah. remembering because i know now I remember where they used to live mm-hmm. um they were pretty like close to you yeah they were really close to me so literally that was my little era of when i got my fucking phone and shit but i will say my favorite gift that i have ever gotten was when i was in sixth grade actually and I was opening up the gifts. I've been telling my mom, I want a camera. I want a camera so bad. I want a camera. And bitch, to tell you, when I opened my present, like I could just see my mom's face. She was like, oh my God, she's all excited about how my reaction is going to be. And dude, I opened it and I was screaming, bitch. It was literally a Canon a camera but it was pink the little one yes oh, the boy. little one still i still have it i still have it i still have all the memories that i have when i went to the one direction concert i still have all the videos on there um i i have a lot you of stuff on there. to that i'm down i just have to find the flash drive that have all the other pictures on it just because you know like who uses fucking flash drives nowadays i remember have that to was a good out. thing back in the day yeah huh? dude but literally having that like for sure that's a huge core like gift memory and it's crazy how like i've always wanted i've literally wanted a camera ever since a kid and now look at me i'm here like fucking you know what's so uh, crazy? i have 20 cameras i uh, got like crazy expensive gifts for christmas i feel like for us we would get our like crazy expensive gifts more for like our birthdays mm, do you know what i mean yeah. like when it came down to getting my cell phones when it came down to getting like my playstations when it came down to getting my cameras because remember i got my first not me ah. <laughs> I think you know what it was I think it's because since we were four mm-hmm. like our parents were like oh we can't get them all expensive presents on Christmas you it's know what I mean and for our birthdays a mi siempre me iba bien porque yo soy de marzo mm-hmm. y era cuando llegaban los taxis so I would always get my camera si quería cámara la agarraba si quería playstation también lo agarraba and my siblings usually Gretel and um, and Luisito since they were in October uh-huh. Uh, bien acabados andaban ya mis papás so les iba and they're like oh Christmas ah, is coming ah. they're like just wait and then they waited and then they wouldn't get good gifts ah. nah dude something that I'm like now appreciating like I, you guys might think I sound like a spoiled brat but like uh, but no 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 are. I swear ah. to god I swear it's not that it's just my mom took really good care of me like and I really do appreciate my mom as much as I can say that I had a lot of trauma in my life my mom had a very good way of making sure we were happy yeah. and giving us everything everything that she could even though she was a single mom she lived in a room yeah. she didn't have anybody in like distance to help her my dad was like threatening her like it was just insane how much my mom really did do for us to give us everything and i was over here like I'm being okay. a spoiler brat I know, but, but at least thing. she did like a good job of being like oh well if my son wants it or my daughter wants it like i'm gonna give it to them because that's all I can give them, and you know. And that's what I mean? not even that. I feel like también they kind of she did raise you guys in the sense of like, okay, you're gonna want that. You're gonna kind of have to work for it. You're gonna have to make sure you're doing good. Uh, you're gonna, she right? didn't. Uh, uh, she no. would just get it. For I'm them. like, no. She never uh, told me you have to work for my Nintendo Wii. Uh, I'm like, I just played it every uh, day. No, Wait, but you know what I mean. Though, right? so I know what you mean. I know yeah. what you're going to. Um, like you mean like if you ever ask for like good ass presents, they'd be like, pues te tienes que portar bien. Yeah, literally. It's I feel like mine would like say that. it, but like. Like, uh, no but that's, uh, how I, that's how I got my camera. Oh, another good gift that I uh, forgot. She's like, I was good for a whole year. Uh, no, I remember but... counting the days. Good today. <laughs> good today. Had a Bad little today. Uh, bump in the, in the road today. Uh, uh, she's like, I'm so sorry, Santa. Uh, she's like, how many days can I be wrong? Uh, no, but I forgot the another good gift that I actually totally forgot about that my family got. Not just me, but all of my other siblings, which I was very surprised about, are Nintendo DSs. 
Oh, oh my Lord, God, you up. just reminded me. Literally, I got the red one. My little brother got the blue one. My older brother got the black one. And my little sister got the pink one. Like, you just and, reminded me, too. And the only way she was, they were able to afford it, obviously, was through the Curacao. Because Curacao was really good with fucking, like, loans and shit. So, like, they were able to, like, get that shit That's real nice. good. I remember one Christmas, my gra- entre my grandma and my mom, nos compraron a mí, a todos mis siblings, the Game Boys. Uh-huh. I remember I had my blue Game Boy. I remember Gretel had the red we still one. Have the blue one. Luisito, no, not Luisito. Henry had the gray one, and we got them at that one party store. Your grandma got them, no? No, yeah, my grandma, and my mom. We got them at um the party store. Not party store. The Kmart. No, the old um Kmart. the old um right. they they went out of business. Sears? They, Radio Shack. No, the the fucking toy store. Toys R Us. Toys R Us. We got them at <laughs> Toys R Us. Oh my god. Lo tenía aquí como que se me estaba escapando, güey. But we got them at Toys R Us. That was another oh good present. God. I forgot to mention that oh one. Nah, but did you guys open up your presents at midnight yeah. or the next day on the 25th? Dependía. Dependía how my parents felt that year. I feel like there would be times like if we would spend it at home, like definitely we'd open them at about 12. Because like like I'm telling you, like, yeah, Christmas was fun at home, like as a child. Uh-huh. But there'd be times where like, what do we do? Like we're just waiting for it to turn 12. So there'd be times where we're just watching movies. Y si mis papás se cansaban or like we would be like chingue, 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 que let us open them. Okay, fine. They'd let us. Yeah. But like let's say we would pass it con mi tía or like we'd go with someone else. We'd just wait until the next morning, like oh, the next day. Yeah. Todo depende. I feel like it depend on like on their mood. If they like, if we were having maybe like a, oh, this Christmas is different day like they'd be like all right pues abra los regalos uh-huh. to like cheer us up i think it just depended to be honest you know honest. what i totally get that for sure because whenever we would have christmases at my tia's house in riverside you know we would do secret santa so everybody would open their gifts individually we wouldn't decide to bring our gifts over there because my mom was like you know what we're already going to be getting home late let's just wait until the next morning so we normally we whenever we would go over there that's when we would open them in the morning but if we're spending them at my house then we were for sure open them at 12 because at those modos my tias and my tios aren't gonna be fucking like you know waiting literally that's when we would literally open them at 12 and that's where all felices and we're like okay good night <laughs> let's go to sleep honestly when it came to like opening up my presents at midnight or in the morning it just kind of really depended because like since i came like from a divorced family like my dad would try to be like cool and like be like oh yeah let's opening up early and not even like early like 12 like he would be like at 10 yeah but now i understand because he wanted to get drunk ah and he would literally just didn't want to deal with us after that i get that though because the kids even nowadays you guys when we host christmas like son las nueve ocho and they're like when are we gonna open our gifts when are we gonna open our gifts and sometimes we do be opening them early like last time i think we opened them at 10 10, ya pa que se yeah, yeah, but I feel like this year we're not gonna do that because I feel like we need to st- we need to do activities. Yeah. Like yeah. we need to keep everyone entertained. Games. Like si comemos and we're just drinking the entire time. Like it's not fun. Yeah. I feel like outside we should do like a like a snowball um, ah. beer pong. Oh. So like at least there's activities outside and like then inside, uh huh, yeah. and then inside they could do like activities uh, for the kids, the maracas. Ah. Ah. No, or, you guys should have like a table set up and like have coloring books for them and like you know something that, that I haven't, ah, you know. Mine. Uh, that's books. expensive. Uh, that? No, at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Not coloring books. You mean for the kids? Yeah. Oh, I thought for the adults. For the dog, so, they like... kids, so they could entertain themselves. Hopefully oh, yeah, yeah. Home. We always have like a kids table. Yeah. But no, for sure, that was um uh, the whole thing about my dad. But my mom would like to traditionally open up on 25th. We rarely open them. But my mm-hmm. mom would always, a week before, she would be like, we're going to open them. 25th and we're like no no and then the 24th come around to open them and be like bitch you fucking lying ass but I feel like now she does open them the 25th like for Noah like the tradition that Noah is growing up with because I feel like the tradition you and Ashley grew up with is different than the tradition that Noah's growing well, up with because my parents were divorced no but uh, I'm saying like now they do wait until the 25th yeah, 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 because yeah. your mom jumps from like our house to like to hit, her family yeah, house yeah. so it's like she's not home on Christmas day yeah. Yeah. Eve alrighty y'all so that is is it for today's episode? Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Brocero año y felicidad. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. 
something, you guys, because I know throughout this podcast we're kind of arguing, talking about gifts, talking about the best gifts, the worst gifts, the best memories, the worst memories. I just want you guys to go ahead and just remember that, like, as long as you guys are healthy, as long as that you guys are with your family, eso es todo lo que importa. Yo pienso que ahorita si ustedes están más chamaquillos y nos están mirando, like, I'm sure like gifts are a big deal, but trust me, ten years from now, those yeah. gifts that you're getting now are not going to really be important. Lo que va a ser importante van a ser las memorias que están haciendo con sus familias, van a ser the traditions you guys are yeah. upkeeping with your family. Those are the only things that you guys are going to take with you guys. So, si esta Navidad you guys no tuvieron para regalos, si esta Navidad no tuvieron para regalar o para recibir regalos, está bien, no se sientan mal. Mientras que tengan salud, mientras que tengan a su familia juntos, es todo lo que importa. Ya lo demás es extra. Quiero nah, que se acuerden de eso. Now, nah, because the best gifts are the memories yes yeah, so really just to remember that the best gifts are the memories i don't want you guys to take this episode to feel like that we were just bragging or like talking about the gifts that we receive or the gifts or that materialism, materialism. It's not about materialism. Yes, because it's not about that i just want you guys to know that i'm so glad and we were so blessed enough to be able to receive gifts and not only that be with our families because unfortunately there's other people that are not and to add on to danny's you guys i do want to say something because because today I posted like me and Danny like Christmas shopping and I did get a couple messages like oh it must be nice to be able to like buy all these presents for your family and I do want to say you know I'm super fortunate I'm super grateful um, to be able to be in the position that I am and to be able to provide the way I do for my family but I just want to say that for me it's not just about the presents because at the end of the day bitch like I forgot what the fuck I got last year I'm not gonna lie like yeah. it's that simple but, but I do I remember, remember the memories, memories. you know we what I were mean? just talking about last Christmas how like the kids were so happy and like yeah. I just can't wait to see like the kids and it's just more this year we really did focus more on the kids rather than yeah. us like yeah. of course like I did ask was that yeah. but, but you know but I feel like I'm just good. yeah I just can't wait for just to hear about the memories that the kids will remember. Yeah. And that's all that really is just important is the children's happiness yeah. and giving the Christmas spirit. Y para terminar con ese thought, you guys, if you guys are a parent or if you guys are, you know, someone that feels that way like it just sucks that i can't gift my kids what they want no se sientan mal just know you're doing enough just know that mientras que tú les des amor a tus hijos ellos se van a recordar de eso los niños agarran un juguete they play with it unos dos días tres a week you know by far y ahí se olvidan del regalo so just make sure que si no les dan regalo denle mucho amor a sus hijos eso en verdad sí. que sí and just show them the value of life, just the value of just living life and being happy. And that's basically what is important. So never forget that. Okay, guys. Alrighty, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as we did. Go ahead and follow us at all of our social medias. I call me Danny. At or my tits XO. At Alanized. And, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Merry Christmas. Christmas. Quiero mucho besitos y vaya. And no more white elephant. Ah. No more.